but this time it ain't the game, yeah. MJ with the six rings, yeah. Y'all better switch out your plays, yeah. On five with the little flame, yeah. You are my buddy until the end. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is Mike, and today I'm gonna review Child's Play 2019. This movie took me by surprise. And it took me by surprise because I was going into the movie with low expectations. Brad Dorf did not re did not is now is no longer the voice of Chucky. And he is replaced by the voice actor of the Joker, Mark Hammond, which his version of Chucky. I'm just gonna talk about the voice because the dial, I'm gonna talk about that later. But the voice of Chucky in this movie, it was kind, it was different. It was it was almost like innocence mixed with creepy, which I thought it was a good take on the voice of Chucky. And I, I loved it. I love the voice of Chucky. Now, I'm going to talk about the um, face himself, the face of Chucky. I didn't really care about... I didn't really care about the dial. Like I like the face looks. I don't know. It it just it just it I didn't like the the Chucky design. I didn't like the Chucky design. Maybe you will, but honestly, I'm not a fan of the Chucky design. And I know they work hard on the on the design. It's just it's not for me. It's really not for me. Now, this movie takes place after Andy Barkley moved to a new city and receives a special present from his mother. Seemingly innocent, the seemingly innocent buddy doll that became his best friend. When the doll suddenly takes on a new life of his own and unites with the other neighborhood children, Andy unites with the other neighborhood children to stop the sinister toy from wreaking havoc. This movie was directed by Lars Kelberg, and it stars Mark Hammond, Abri Plaza, and Gabriel and Gabriel and Gabriel Batman, Bateman, that plays Andy. Um, I want to talk about his act. I want to talk about um the kid that played Andy. I ask, he actually did great acting. Great acting, um, incredible. It's almost like. He was pretty he pretty much acted like a regular teenager and got a dial and it was all he wasn't it was all it was when Chucky first killed I'm not going to spoil the movie this is a non-spoiler review when Chucky first killed it was like Andy was um he tried to cover it up he didn't go crazy like every he didn't go he didn't do the crazy route when I mean the crazy route he didn't tell nobody that the child was, um, that the doll was evil, and nobody didn't didn't believe him. They didn't do that at first. They did that later on, like close to the end of the movie, but they didn't do that at first, which I which I thought was a cool different, a cool take on the movie. Also, also I love the um, the humor. It was very funny, and you don't get a lot of kills in this movie. You did get some. And the two, um, it were two good kills in the movie that really shows it was very good. Special effects, it was very good. The kills, the two kills I'm talking about, it were, it were, it, it was very cool. Um, which I'm pretty sure y'all would like as well as horror fans. One, and another thing, now I'm about to go to my dislikes, which y'all already know. I didn't like the, um, the Dow itself. I didn't. The design of the dial, I don't know, I don't know. It's just I don't like the dial design. Also, the ending was a little anticlimactic. They set up like a big, um, a big. It could, it should have been a big battle. And when Chucky eventually get defeated, it fell flat to me. I don't know why it just fell flat. But overall. Chucky 2019 it was pretty good now one thing now one thing it is different it is different it's almost like it's not a Chucky movie it's, it, it's, it's almost like it has its own image it has its own um, image like a new doll I would like it if they didn't call it child's play or didn't call it a, 
the kid, they didn't call and they didn't call the kid Andy or they didn't call the doll Chucky. They could have really made this its own movie, like outside of the Child's Play um, franchise. Pretty much make a new doll that has nothing to do with Chucky. They could have referenced Chucky, which would have been cool. Like, oh, they gets it, they get it, but. It shouldn't be a reboot or a remake. I I wish I wish they would have just took its own identity in the movie and the show with different characters and stuff like that. But overall, guys, I give this movie six, seven, seven and a half. Six or seven. Six or seven. Now, if you guys seen this movie, tell me what you think of the movie. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Don't forget to subscribe. And I want to say thank you guys for 50 subscribers. Right now, I got, I'm got i sitting at 51 subscribers. I want to thank you. And I am going to do a giveaway real, real soon. So stay tuned to that. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.